Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. This is the Samsung Flight. That's a picture of an old Volvo that I took when I was testing the phone out the other day with the 2 megapixel camera. I took the photo, and uh, there's no significance to that photo. I was just walking around trying the phone out, and I thought, oh, I'll change the wallpaper, and that was the first car I saw. That didn't have somebody in it. There was a kind of cool-looking Mustang, but there was a guy in it. I didn't want to take a picture. Anyway, the Samsung Flight, kind of an interesting phone because uh, it looks and feels like a smartphone, but it's not. It's got a full touch screen. It's got this little widget menu that just popped up. They're not widgets, they're shortcuts. Um, but uh, it's got a full touch screen on the front. See, you can press things and it vibrates and they launch and everything. Uh, it's got a slide up. It's a slider and it's got a, a, it's got a slide up. It's got a sliding front panel with a full QWERTY board underneath. The QWERTY board actually works really quite well. Samsung, you know, it's funny with these QWERTY boards, the Samsung Moment Android phone couldn't stand the QWERTY board. The Flight, a low-end phone, I like it just fine. You know, it's a vertical slider, a little bit different. Uh, it's got a regular USB port, it's got 3G, it's got a music player, you know, it does all this stuff, but it's not a smartphone, it's a feature phone. So, you know, basically it's an interesting device for somebody who doesn't want to pay the full-on unlimited data, because it's still $99 out of the gate, on AT&T, although I'm sure you can get it for less now other places, but you don't have to have an unlimited data plan like you do if you want to get an iPhone or a Blackberry or a Windows mobile smartphone on AT&T. You can use just a messaging phone or one of those limited web plans, so you know it'll cost you less in the long run. But how is it to actually use the thing? Honestly, not great, not too bad. Let's find out. All right, so the Flight, you know, it's not the smallest phone on the market. It's kind of uh, a little bit bulky, you know, f compared to other messaging phones, but also it's not uh, too terribly heavy. So it actually feels, you know, it, it feels fine. Uh, it's not, you get a phone like uh, the NV3 on Verizon or the NV Touch or something like that. It might be shaped a little bit differently, but you know, overall kind of size and bulk wise, not too much different. And then of course you've got your slide up, <laughs> the slide up as I called it before, with your full QWERTY underneath. Uh, it's quad band, GSM with Edge and 3G, 2 megapixel camera on the back, as I mentioned. On the left side here, USB port for charging and uh, data transfer. And then you've got uh, your volume rocker switch, and then, oops, your shortcut button. And then on the other side, I said whoops because I hit two buttons at once there. On the other side, you've got your lock button. And then you can also lock and unlock the phone by sliding it. Or actually, you can unlock it. It won't lock by sliding. And then you've also got a dedicated button that goes to your camera mode. Uh, since we're in the camera, like I said, 2 megapixel, it's got digital zoom. Uh, it also has a camcorder mode you can switch to. You can do video share. You know, it works fine. It's a cell phone camera, not the greatest in the world. It picks up the specks of uh, dust on my little black backdrop here. So what more could you want than that, right? Um, the phone itself, touch screen, uh, it's a 320 by 240 touch screen, 262,000 colors. Works pretty well, it's pretty rich. You know, again, it, it's for what it is. It's not the high-end smartphone. And even though with the $99 price tag, you can get smartphones for that, that price point now, it's more looking at the person who doesn't want to have the smartphone data plan. Have I said that 18 times already? It's the truth. So that that's where we get emails from people who are like, we know all about the Droid and the iPhone and the Blackberry, you know, cover phones that people can actually afford. And that's what they mean. It's not the price out the door, but it's the monthly bill you get, you know, where your, your messaging plan is cheaper than that $30, $30 a month or more uh, data plan. Anyway, so uh, we're in the phone and we unlock it because I talked for too long and now we lost the screen. And so you've got IM messaging, mobile email, your mobile web, your uh, AT&T app center, everybody calls it app center. You've got GPS, which you can use on the phone, that'll cost you extra, streaming video, that kind of stuff. Uh, performance was generally fine. Um, you know, AT&T, if you read the site, you know I live in the East Bay part of the San Francisco Bay Area of California, and I live and work all around this region, and AT&T has not been the exemplary service provider uh, out here lately. And so service has been, you know, this phone has been kind of typical AT&T, like sometimes it works great. When it does, the call quality is pretty good. It's not amazing, but you know, it's pretty good. Uh, a few little, you know, staticky blips and bleeps here and there on the phone calls, but generally totally usable. 
But uh, just, you know, between the phone, I guess, and the network, definitely some issues um, with some drop calls and, you know, being hard to hear sometimes and everything. Um, I, given the other phones I'm testing, I would attribute it more to the network than the phone itself. That being said, it's not the best sounding AT&T phone I've tried recently. Mm-hmm. Messaging apps, that kind of stuff. So we'll go to messaging. We'll create a message. Pretty standard uh, Samsung AT&T messaging interface. Here's the keyboard. And I think it works fairly well. The keys are a little bit small, but uh, I can't type while I'm talking. But kind of a good, even though they're a little bit hollow feeling, they have a, a nice firm like click to them when, when you click. And they're soft touch plastic, but the keys themselves are contoured just a little bit, so you get a little bit of separation. You can see the way the keys sort of are angled and they fan out to one side then the other, and then the center of rows of keys are a little flatter with your dual width spacebar. Uh, you get enough separation and enough angle combined with the nice solid click of the keys that, um, you know, it uh, it's pretty pleasant to type on. I prefer this to something like the Droid that's really flat, or the G1 for that matter, that's really flat and gives you no feedback. Um, you know, a little bit cramped together if you have big thumbs like me, but uh, yeah, you know, I think it works pretty well. And you're doing your messaging, you can insert picture, video, audio, all that kind of stuff. You can take a picture because it lasts longer. We won't save it. Uh, all right, we'll take a quick look here at the web browser. You can see I've got the 3G going. Uh, when I was walking around before, I had the 3G Plus going sometimes. So, you know, your mileage may, may vary depending on the network coverage and strength of signal where you live and work. So there's the web browser, and you've got this crazy AT&T.net thing with, uh, I should have turned the screen lock off. I'm sorry. So you've got web, local, popular, these tabs up on top. And then, uh, so here I am, and I found that I'm in Oakland, and yeah, the Cal region's just, uh, man, they're hiking Student fees at Cal Berkeley or uh, Cal University State University is by 32%. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, shortcuts you can add your MySpace, you can add your, you know, other things, whatever. Let's go into the Intertron here, and we will see what happens when we put Phone Dog. Okay. don't believe there's an accelerometer happening. I think this phone was meant to be used in the upright and vertical position. So here's phone dog. Gives me an option to add the phone dog uh, RSS feed to my shortcuts. That's kind of cool. It's all scrunched down into one column here. Um, so let's see if we go to options. If we can. Settings. Mobile view. No. Let's see what happens now. Or reload it. So you can see, you know, once in a while I get a press and it looks like it's highlighted, but then I have to repress. So capacitive touchscreen, no. Resistive touchscreen, yes, but it works fairly well for a resistive. And so now it looks like it is. There you go. So there's the phone dog homepage rendered out. Not too bad. A couple of little little hiccups you can see with the nav bar up on top these tabs kind of got broken and whatever but uh you know for a feature phone we've come a long way baby there you go and uh so the flight like, samsung flight at&t interesting because that line between smartphone and messaging phone really getting blurred now 99 bucks uh, on contract, I'm sure you can get it cheaper it'll probably be free after rebate before too long it's got a solid qwerty decent touch screen uh, you know, it's a little bit thick and bulky, but not too bad, not too heavy to carry around. Comes in a couple different colors. Music player, no headphone jack. Uh, you know, overall, it's good. The keyboard's good. So for texting, if you like the vertical slider format, uh, you know, you'll probably like the form factor and the keyboard. Um, and if you don't want to pay for a full-on data plan, you know, you just want the messaging plan, 
you can go a route like this, still get lots of the features, and uh, you know, kind of pick the things you want to pay for as, a, as opposed to paying for the full-on unlimited data plan. That being said, with phones like the Impression available, uh, Samsung Impression, which is cheaper now, you know, nicer screen, nicer keyboard, a little bit bigger maybe to carry around, but you know, it's kind of interesting because this is the new phone, but sometimes the old ones might actually be a little bit better. So overall, you know, kind of a, a thumbs up, but with some reservations, some little issues with call quality here and there. You try before you buy, take advantage of that 30 day trial period in case you have issues where you live. But there you go, Samsung Flight. Much, much more on this and all the new phones, smartphones, feature phones, you know, we do what we can. Got a couple emails from people saying, like I said, you know, keep it real, man. Let's get the low cost phones in there too. We all, we all want to spend money on an iPhone plan. So we're trying to do what we can. Over on phonog.com. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We will see you later. Bye bye.